for the sign of Libra hello and welcome to my channel so Libra in the recent past we got the lovers card and the six of wands whoa a lot of you had a lot of great chemistry with someone there was a lot of love because the lovers card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twins so we got some twin flames here it's possible that when you get this card you're feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or situation it could have been that your heart was telling you one thing and your head was telling you another now the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time and that's either fear or love but it's saying it would have been safe to choose love at that time yeah because it's a lover's card that's a coming together that's a union that's falling someone was falling in love beautiful it's a strength of two this lover's card it's a twin flame or a soulmate it could be so it's interesting because it's with the six of wands it's about recognition and victory yeah if you wanted to win your lover's heart you probably did you would have been successful victorious this could indicate any kind of celebration though you could have been a part of a graduation party commencement celebration or you could have been receiving some type of reward for good work in the recent past the six of wands makes you feel really good about yourself you may feel like you have a lot of support from everyone around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing the six of wands I'm going to explain this card to you in a, in a better way. You see how she's waving her wand in the air. She's standing on a podium. And then she, she's got all these people below her. They're waving her wand in the air just like she is. Just like she is. Um, they're mirroring her. So they're, she's mirroring them and they're mirroring her. So... It's about great chemistry here. This, this is strongly about some type of twin flame or soulmate because the Six of Wands, when it talks about lo love and relationships, it suggests that you need someone to boost your ego while the other is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. It's called Fire of Balance. You two feed off of each other energetically. So you can expect a lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in, spent in bed. Ooh, I couldn't even say it. <laughs> okay, so there was a lot of passion in the recent past. Great sexual chemistry with someone. Like I said, I'm picking up it's a twin flame or a soulmate. Two of you mirrored each other. And... There was a falling in love here with this lover's card. Beautiful. Somebody had a beautiful past. All that great chemistry and magnetism. The pull. The pull was really strong. So that's a serious energy right there. Yeah, falling in love there. Okay, so that's a recent past. Too bad it's not the present. But let's see what the present has for you, Libra. Now, we got the Seven of Wands and the Page of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands, you could find, um, if you're any, in any sort of competitive situation, that you come out on top. Things will be going really well. You'll be feeling really good. Your projects will be moving along. You could have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it, it, this card points to being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's with the Page of Wands. So, it could be about trying to stay focused because the Page has a lot of um, passion and a lot of energy of easy distraction. Yeah, so... It indicates that things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition, they're starting to come to life. Um, there could be a need for new things, new approaches, new ideas. 
the page, it brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through because you got this e energy of easy distraction and a lot of passion. So there's a lot of excitement. Somebody wants to reach out. Some type of message of love and affection is coming in with this. Someone wants to holler at you with a lot of excitement. But it's a page. So when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth. That's a student. That could be immaturity. Um, someone younger than you who's got a lot of energy and passion for you. Yeah, and this person is with the Seven of Wands. So this person reaching out to you, um, they want to come out on top. This person wants to be the last man standing with you. And it could be the person from the recent past. If you're still dealing with the per this great love that we just talked about. So they're still, they still want to reach out to you. You guys might still be going strong. Person wants to be the last man standing. Yeah, because just just know that when I talk about the recent past, it could have been last week, the last month, three months ago, six months ago, or more. So it could, could be the same person. I'm picking up for a lot of you. It is. It is this great love. That's, this person is trying to send you messages of love, and they want to let you know that they are going to be the last man standing, whether you like it or not. That's what they want to say to you. So let's go. Let's move on over and let's take a look at the challenge. So we got this Knight of Cups and it's with the Page of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is very optimistic. Great card to see in the reading. It comes with messages. So wow, there's a lot of communication in this reading. Yeah, this has got to be the same person. You guys talk. You guys will be talking a lot. They want to reach out to you and you want to reach out to them. So this is good good reading so far. So this Knight of Cups, like I said, it's about some type of message coming in. Good news message that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups, it tells you things are going well. You're feeling charged up, ready for action. So it's, this card is usually about good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. So someone's charging in here. You see how he's on this huge fish? Yep. They're coming rain, snow, sleet, or shine. This person is determined to be with you. And they'll be contacting you. We've got a lot of messages in this reading. A lot of communication. And it's with the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. So you could feel like you're taking life too serious, seriously or life too serious. Yeah, because there was a poet that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious, seriously and taking oneself seriously. I hope I'm saying seriously right. But anyway, the first is imperative and the second is a disaster. You have to know the difference. So it looks like your person. I'm, then I'm picking up a lot of you are dealing with someone younger than you because you got some pages here. You got, oh, you got three pages here. Wow. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with someone younger than you. Yeah. So this person is charging in and they want to have fun. They want to hang loose. Hey, they want to show you how, how to have a great time. Yeah, because you see how the, the Page of Cups is the card that's below the word challenge. So you see those three people, they're hanging out at a park. They're halfway naked and they're turning up the bottle. So this person is going to, you two will have a lot of fun. Yeah. Who doesn't want to do that? Hang out at the park and halfway naked and turn up the bottle. But anyway, yeah, you got somebody that has, likes to have fun too. And I, like I said, I can't get away from it. This person is younger than you. A lot of you are dealing with somebody that's very youthful maybe. A lot of energy. Excitement is here. Wow, this card, this reading is going really well. 
let's get on over there to see what the outcome is going to be. We got the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards to get in a reading. Beautiful. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over. And I say finance because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance. Um, it means that things in general, they're better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. Because we get what we give. If this card is excellent when it comes to love questions. If you're currently committed, it can rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And if you're single and you get this nine of pentacles, someone new who has what it takes to be in a new meaningful deep love is coming in. He is on his way. So another great card for you. This reading is going really well. Now the page of pentacles um, is paired with this nine of pentacles. Page of pentacles is about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things up for a little excitement. Just rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy because we all know excitement. It can be created. Page of Pentacles is excellent energy to get you where you need to be or want to go. Or it, it helps you, it supports you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It brings focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So basically the outcome, Libra, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles with these two cards paired together. It's still going good. It still will be. It will be going good for a while. It's like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles, any your worries, they're over for a while. So this will this will keep going on. Great, all the communication, all the hanging loose at the park, all the having fun, and your person letting you know that they're going to be the last man standing with you. This great sexual chemistry, it's going to be going on for a while. Falling in love, it's there. I'm picking up this reading is still about this person from the recent past. This great love from the recent past for a lot of you. Now, because the outcome, it, it has this page of pinnacles here. A lot of times you might, you got a lot of pages here. You might find this person can be maybe... You can find them really exciting... Because they got a youthful energy here. Or you could find that they drive you crazy a lot of times because it's a page, you got a lot of pages here. And they do, pages kind of do silly things. So you might, you might get a little um, shaken up by the silly things that they do. That's the only negative that I could see in this reading. Everything else is just beautiful. Um, it's not easy to get a beautiful reading like this. They, the cards don't fall like this. So for a lot of you Libras, I want to say good luck, but I don't think you need it. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't think you need it. So Libras, a lot of, a, I know a lot, I know a lot of you are saying, oh, this is crap. Love doesn't happen to me, especially like this. Okay, I'll buy that. If it's not a love, great, some great love relationship, it's a it's a good opportunity. You got some darn good opportunities coming your way. So yeah, if it's not a love, if you know it's not a love interest or some great romantic story for you, then yes, it can be a a situation. It could be a friend or a family member. So just take it for however it resonates, resonates with you because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, once again, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen 
for the two of you in the next few weeks, for the next few weeks, for the next 